I first got a pen pal in my early teens. How I came by this pen pal was quite a story. I was writing in my bedroom in my aunt's house at the time. My annoying cousin jokingly made a reference to a long distance lover. Is that your pen pal, your boyfriend? He teased in that annoying way kids normally do. Well, that was it. I became obsessed with the idea. I did end up getting a pen pal from Utah. From my recollection, he was Jewish. He would tell me of his life in the United States. We realized very quickly, although our lives were very different, there were also a lot of similarities. We both had strict boundaries in place. We were made to do homework right after school. We came from families that expected a lot. His parents apparently checked his letters and so did mine. It was the most fun I've ever had with a pen pal. It was amazing to be in contact with someone from another country whilst I sat happily in my city in Nigeria. I grew even more in love with letter writing then. My grandparents used to write to me all the time. They never emailed, never sent text messages. It was all done by letter writing. I'll never forget the last letter my grandmother wrote to me shortly after my grandfather passed away and just before she left this earth. I'd occasionally pick it up and pull it from the envelope just to take a look at her writing scrawled across the paper. Any excuse to get to write a letter, whether formally or informally, I still do it. There is something profoundly emotive about letter writing. It comes across more sincere than the spoken word, better than a recited apology it's the last sincere form of communication. Putting pen to paper shows time has gone into composing the letter. It takes time to gather your thoughts and words as you write. You need to think. Lovers have taken their own lives when words in a letter have delivered a devastating blow. Some have gone on to seek deadly revenge after reading letters. My letter writing experience has always been pleasant, no drama. Today I've just written a note in a beautiful card to a friend thousands of miles away in England. The best bit is when they call or send a message to say they've received the letter, it's always a pleasant surprise and they have failed with a giddy energy. There's just something about letter writing that speaks to our innermost romantic selves. It's touching and shows someone has taken the time to think about you for at least a few minutes. As humans, it appeals to our innermost need to be cared for. It's flattering to know someone who is nowhere near us is still thinking of us. I lost contact with my pen pal after a year. Life, school, responsibilities took their toll. My friends considered me too much of an introvert and with new school terms approaching, lots of activities and work to do, the last letter I received slipped to the back of my mind and I never responded.